Well, my name is Ryan Tricartan, and I'm an artist. I work pretty much in any medium, but I primarily work in video at this point. The first thing is um, I just get these flashes of like, the best way to explain them is vibes. <laughs> and you know how a lot of people will talk now and they'll sort of just sculpt out a space, but they don't really say anything but you sort of understand what they're saying just because people are good about reading vibes now. and But then when you really look at it, you're kind of like, what the hell, that person did not say anything. It's like, I feel like, like I get chunks of those that go through my head, and then they start to turn into kind of like um, rhythmic, like music. And, and then I start to see like them, instead of it being one person, it starts to become like spread out among different bodies, but it's kind of just one person, just multiple bodies. I started to think about like these uh, systems of like ancestry and the way like histories are, are developed and the way narratives are created. And we, we came up with Center Jenny, which takes place inside of like an educational gaming system, but like a pseudo one. So um, where like uh, the idea of uh, human an ancestry is rooted in a very like recent past that's very basic and unnuanced and super fixed and not very transformative. So the scene that we're going to show is is a, is a, is, the, is like a didactic scene within the movie where a teacher figure is telling the Jennies about their ancestors. He's so All that I look for he thinks I'm hitting on him. He thinks everyone's hitting on him. We're gonna put him on, on a blue pad. What the fuck? You fucking private man. Excuse me. Excuse me. Blue your car. Excuse me. Excuse me. Blue your car. I hate him. He thinks everyone's hitting on him, and they're not. No one's hitting on him. I hate him. I hate my teacher. He always thinks I'm hitting on him. He thinks everyone's hitting on him. My name's Jimmy West. I want Jimmy West. Hi. I want Jimmy West. Hi. I want Jimmy West. And I want Jimmy West. Now I'm going to walk over to my friend group where I've had sex with all of their boyfriends and all of them individually. Jimmy West. And they know it. I want you guys to explain how this fits into your assignment. Well, back during the human era, we had lots of different people around us. And basic bitches thought they could only be with one person. But then we met by Jimmy. And he educated us about the animations. And then it was very era specific. And then we audited the Blair Witch movie. Era specific. Movie marketing class. There's a rumor that there's like an antiviral on the market. And it will turn you into a consistent state of night vision. And this state of constant night vision will forever lock you into linearity. Sounds really stupid, right? <laughs> that sounds so really stupid. Hey, girls. I want to introduce y'all to my friend, Hack Willis. Hi, my name is Pac Willis. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. So. Hi, my friend. Hey. You know that table you constantly visualize because you forgot the lyrics? Okay. What? Oh my Wait, god. Did you write this for your poetry class? I kind of love poetry. Poetry? No. You own that melody, man! Oh my god. Now, I want you all that imagine that lunch table. The one that started you in preschool. Uh -huh. Oh. But it continued into your everyday flow. The glow you access into your... <laughs> <laughs> to hold other fellow articulates down. 
Uh, you know the one you're walking? Yes. Hey, that row. I wrote the foundation to everything you ever articulated. What the heck fucking face fuck you talk about? Oh, oh, you know what? The last time I crossed the road, someone made a joke about chicken. And in those animated chickens, someone told me something really significant about them. I'm going to tell you about right now. Oh, oh my God. That type of cool is most likely sexy. Anyways, back to my chicken story. Well, back in the human era, dinosaurs evolved into chickens. This is a fact. You know? And we do know about this. In one of the classes I teach next semester, it has to deal with the fact that dinosaurs did become chickens, and then, well, yeah, you no, know. Yeah, I know. I know all about that, yeah. I know about that. Oh, my God. Like, one of the things that we don't really talk about or people think about is after the dinosaurs devolved back into chickens, you know. Sex. What the fuck are you talking about? Whose car is that? Like, I don't know what you're talking about, but my car isn't there. <laughs> I miss capitalism from the era of humans because... I used to capitalize on my human when I had my human things to do with chicken. <laughs> it's been six hours that I was here. Otherwise, still was here. Razor blades as a gift. I have R. Move your car and get out my face. My mother, my mother, my mother. Finish that dinosaur story. I'll finish it. <laughs> ah. That is one of the most amazing apprentices of the classes I teach. You are a sexy teacher. Yeah, sexy teacher. We have evolved from animations. Those are our ancestors. Oh my god, this school sucks. Content is lame and I want to take Pat Willis home with me because I'm 100% straight. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Especially removed from the era. It's like way funnier, right? It's like really funny. Like. Like, sexism. I mean, like, the further we all move away from humanity, like, sexism just becomes, like, the coolest style. Like, so cool, though. Like, it has a really good style. Like, the, kind of the best style, the further we move away from it or whatever. Sexism. We're really far away from it. Yeah, because tolerance is inevitable, right? And that's one of the things that I teach my students. Because anyway, we've evolved from animations. And these animations actually evolved from humans. Shut up! So, when we, um, so, when we, um, so, when we, um, here. At our university, we teach people about their ancestors. And when I say people, I mean the things that you have become most recently. I want that teacher to shut up about his dumb ancestors. And I don't know what else Party to say. Foul. Party foul. Because I hate my dumb ass teacher. And after we have successfully evolved and devolved people back again, we will have animations and because the people ain't nothing and we're going to kill them all at this university. You know what's great? Right before the second Big Bang, we were able to print weapons. With, 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 with a 3D printer. With a 3D printer. You better shut about your dumb sci-fi movie crap you be shutting, and that's not my life. <laughs> oh. Fuck <laughs> animation. <laughs> I know how to move. <laughs> Great. Right before the second Big Bang, we were able to print 3D weapons with the 3D printer, and we fucked the cops right in the ass with them. This is a very 20th century question. It is, to me, I'm an old person, it's not eye candy, but is it to your generation? And if there's a message, I don't get it, but is there a message to you guys? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. Well, I think that it's, it's, it all depends on the person whether or not it's eye candy or not, but, and I don't think that's a generational thing, but there, and every movie definitely has a message, and even every scene has a message, and every character has a message, and we're trying to make works that, that comp, complicate your relationship to them and don't, don't simplify it, so there isn't like a pitch, if that's what you want, but there's definitely like a message. And okay, well, Senator Jenny is well. I'm not going to give you a pitch, so um, but I'll tell you like kind of like what 
some of the messages in it are. It's, um, it's, the idea is that what happens when you're, in any ever, there was lots of characters that were accessing, like, premises or games, and they were, like, squatting other people's lived experiences as, um, as, like, vacations or tools or, like, vocabularies. And so then I started thinking about what it would look like if you couldn't see beyond the actual premise or the game and how frightening that reality would be if, if you were completely limited to, the, to the, the actual game being the parameters of the game being the protagonist. So, like, the main character of the movie not being, like, people and ideas, but it being the actual structure of the space and how the structure of the space controls the environment and what the limitations of the environment are. So... In Senator Jenny, it's this gaming system where they're learning about their, their ancestors and they're learning a truth and, like, a history, but that it's a very, like, shallow history and it doesn't have much relationship to things outside of, like, sorority, <laughs> basic sorority, like, um, habits and rituals. So the message is what happens in these, like, it's like with something like Facebook, where it's a hub, and it kind of controls what you're allowed to do in it. Like, do you want to be in a hub, or do you want to have tools that you can use freely? And it's kind of about free will, and where does free will exist, and can you create free will in, inside of such limitations? Um, and is there a way to, to break outside of that? And then a big part of the, the movie deals with this idea of what it means to be left of center, which is like an acting term. Like if someone, if you're never going to be the main character, like a director might be like, you're left to center, you're, you can't get the role, the main, you know, the role that you want. And I tried to think about like how the edge of parameters, like the, the margin, the margins, I was thinking of them as like hosts. So like what's like, the, instead of like games that have like first, second, third, fourth, fifth level, in this kind of context where things that aren't relying on binaries in the same way and they aren't relying on um, movement and time in a directional sense, how like level center is kind of like the goal or the goal might be to push the parameters and be as far left or right of center as possible to kind of expand what the reality can encompass. Does that kind of say a little bit about the message? But then, but then I want people then to take what they feel about that message. I don't want to, like, preach. I just want to, like, provide the content. Well, there, there's supposed to be, like, echoed versions that are, like, reflections that are kind of almost like if an, if an alien species were to try to, like, um, like, make isms out of, like, different stereotypes that they see, they'd be really different from the ones we've developed. 